Hey nerds, I'm back. Today I've got some more Clan Wars 3 on the North American server for y'all. This time it's tier 10 7v7 supremacy with Defiant attacking Galaxy on the y Yamato Harbor map. And it looks like Galaxy's gonna go take their medium tanks. They have a lot of medium tanks. Holy crap. <laughs> gonna go fast cap C. Defiant's going with the HP and alpha damage. They're gonna contest B and they're gonna get A for free. But because heavy tanks obviously aren't as fast as medium tanks, Galaxy's going to cap it a little bit before Defiant does, so they're going to just barely go ahead and get a couple of ticks of points before Defiant gets their cap. But Defiant has drawn first blood. They've done the first damages, and uh, there's a couple of Galaxy tanks that are a little bit worse for wear, and no one from Defiant's taken any damage yet. Got an I-7 on the bow of the ship, holding down on the high ground. And right there is when Galaxy does the first damage to Defiant. But they're still ahead on points, just barely. But if Defiant can kill one of the tanks, then they'll leap ahead on points. Because the way Supremacy works is if you kill an enemy tank, you gain points and they lose points. Lieutenant and his M60 is getting really antsy on that side of the map because he notices all those medium tanks and he's kind of by himself. Silvern, the northern side, and his M60 has a couple of I7s to back him up. So he, he's feeling pretty good. Uh, that's an odd choice of tank. You don't really see E50Ms very much in Clan Wars because of the low DPM. And since everyone's singing gold anyways, the armor is kind of meh. But uh, more power to you <laughs> if, if you want to. Um, I don't know, let's see how he plays it out. The medium tanks on Galaxy are trying to flank around. This IS-4, IS rather, he's totally boned though. He's completely surrounded, he's got heavy tanks to his front, right, and then his rear. And that's the last damage he's going to do before that IS-7 finishes him off, giving Defiant the first kill of the match. Dark and his E-100 looking to get another kill though, but he just got double tapped by those medium tanks. And right after he gets the kill, he's going to get double tapped again. And he's going to take another from this right side right there. And as soon as one of those medium tanks reloads, there it is. He's down. Defiant, two kills. Galaxy, one. So that big intimidation factor with the E100 is no more. This I-7 here is getting really, really bloodthirsty. He's going after this medium tank right here. Going to sacrifice himself to get a kill. I, maybe he didn't notice those other two medium tanks come to help, but uh, the C50M and that T62 STB, sorry, are uh, just ripping him apart. And this IS-7 Defiant, as soon as he gets that kill on the STB, that's really all she wrote for Galaxy for this round of the match, because all they have are couple medium tanks and there's a lot of defiant guys that are way too healthy for him to even remotely deal with it but uh hey <laughs> e50m uh bad choice of tank still last one alive so uh i guess you're doing so something right anyways but uh yeah let's look at the post battle results we've got it loads any day now there we go. For top on damage for Defiant, the winning team, we got Silver and his M60 doing 3,200 damage. And then E50M doing his top damage for Galaxy, putting the biggest fight in, doing well over 2k damage. And the heavy tanks kind of fell short. There was still only three of them versus a lot of Defiant heavy tanks, and they just got surrounded and... If you're a heavy tank and you're surrounded, it's just not going to go well for you. As Dark and his E100, as soon as he got surrounded, he just dropped almost instantly. Both teams switching it up a little bit more. This time we've got JDS and his Amex 50 Bravo. And Galaxy switching out one of the medium tanks for an extra heavy tank. Trying to help them out in town a little bit more. The strategies are basically the same. Galaxy is going to go fast cap C. And Defiant's going to go contest B and capture A, or at least try to. Um, 
they don't get there scot free this time though so uh immediately galaxy is going to get more hit on points so uh defiance going to have to start playing pretty aggressive cuz you've got tanks watching a and b for galaxy in uh so defiant can't safely cap any of the points but galaxy's ticking away on the points and they're going to need it. They damage the I-7. He tried to shoot another hold down I-7. And we got some action going on over here. Um, that 140 is just getting demolished. We got a couple medium tanks and then an E-100 shooting at him. There's a sneaky leopard. Uh, E-50M switched out for a Leo. Getting some sneaky shots in on the M-60. And yeah, I got another one. <laughs> Object 140 is going to go and try and push him out. First kill was that object 140 on galaxy's team dark got him in his e100 this leopard's days are numbered because he's got a lot of tanks surrounding him and medium tanks just weren't very effective this round for galaxy at all it's a minute and 45 seconds into the match and two of them are dead and they got just the stb one left and uh He's not going to be able to do a whole lot with all those defiant guys in the hills hunting him down. Got an ice 4 here. 4 Galaxy just got hit. Uh, these Galaxy guys are also very worse for wear. HTB is about to go down. Going to get one more shot into the... Ooh, he missed. There you go. He's going to get one more shot into the 140. But he's going to reload. And STB is a goner. So 2 minutes and 19 seconds in. All three of those medium tanks are dead. They got another kill. So Defiance winning 4-0. to zero. Doesn't matter if Galaxy had C at the very beginning and Defiant didn't cap right away because they've got B. Now they're capping C. They're ahead on kills 4-0. to zero. And really, right now, Defiance is going and doing a cleanup operation. Got an I-7 doing a drive-by. JDS and the AMX-50B. Clipping down that heavy tank, finishing him off, and then 6-0, to zero, and yeah, that's all she wrote. The fat lady has indeed sung. Defiant's going to win this match. Tier 10, 7v7 Supremacy on Yamato Harbor. Defiant, clean sweeping. Galaxy in a 2-0 to zero victory for the win. Let's look at the post-battle results. Let's hope they load in a timely manner this time. Hey, <laughs> it wasn't that long this time. This time, you got Forgotten Fox and Defiant putting up the big numbers or the biggest numbers for Defiant. And you got five guys doing over 2.2k damage on Defiant with Lieutenant and his M60 and an I7 bringing up the bottom, each putting only two penetrating shots into galaxy but when you've got five guys doing over two and 2.2k damage you just you're probably gonna be winning because that's a lot of damage and really no one on galaxy uh was able to put up much of a fight that time the mediums dropped really fast because even though they got some sneaky shots in they weren't able to get any kills and they had an e100 an unexpected 100 backing up the medium tanks. Um, maybe if Dark wasn't there, something would have gone different, but he was, and he was able to just pound the medium tanks from the flank. So didn't go well for them. Anyways, hopefully there's going to be more Clan Wars coming up for y'all. Um, round one is coming to a close, so we got a couple of days to declare attacks, and then we got another few days for more matches to actually be played, so it's going to be a little bit until I can get more uh, Clan Wars gameplay up, but anyways, this is M16's World of Tanks Blitz replays. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.